Welcome to this Bible Reflection. Romans chapter 6 verses 1 through 11. What then shall we say? Shall we persist in sin that grace may abound? Of course not. How can we who died in sin yet live in it? Or are you unaware that we who were baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? We were indeed buried with him through baptism into death so that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father we too might live in newness of life for if we have grown into union with him through a death like his we shall also be united with him in the resurrection we know that our old self was crucified with him so that our sinful body might be done away with that we might no longer be in slavery to sin for a dead person has been absor absolved from sin if then we have died with Christ we believe that we shall also live with him we know that Christ raised from the dead dies no more death no longer has power over him as to his death he died to sin once and for all as to you too must think of yourself as to his life he lives for God consequently you too must think of yourselves as being dead to sin and living for God in Christ Jesus the message of salvation is simple enough for a child to understand yet so profound that no human mind can ever fully comprehend it one thing many people find perplexing is the concept of dying with Christ a phrase that comes from Romans 6 6 there Paul writes our old self was crucified with him but what exactly does that mean with Jesus crucifixion all of mankind's sins including yours was nailed to the cross and canceled or as Galatians says the flesh with its passions and desires has been put to death this means the person you were prior to salvation was crucified with the Savior and you can never be that person again the old you is dead, and the person you are today is a brand new creation, a child of God, clothed in his righteousness. While our full victory over sin won't be complete here on earth, we can be confident that Jesus has declared believers holy, righteous, and blameless. Paul explained it this way, Consider yourselves to be dead to sin, but alive to God in Christ Jesus. If you believe Jesus is your Savior, move forward with confidence and peace in your new identity today. Thank you for listening. God bless you, and I love you.